Good morning, kiddos. We are going to be doing a science experiment today. We're going to be looking at the chemical changes in an apple. So um, as we know, we're talking about hospital workers this week. And so lots of hospital workers are super busy right now, um, making sick people feel better. And we are thanking them for everything that they're doing. Um, so eating good foods, nutritious foods can help us stay healthy to keep us out of the hospital. And so um, some good food would be fruit and veggies. So we're gonna be working with an apple today. And so um, I've cut the apple. I have it, you can see kind of like my apple flower I've made here with my apple cutter. And we are gonna be using some of the pieces of that um, to see if we can make a chemical reaction happen. So once you cut an apple, it usually starts to turn brown. And um, this is due to the chemical um, reaction happening when the inside of the apple meets the oxygen around us. And so the oxygen reacts with a material in the apple turning it brown. And so this is, material is called the enzyme. So what we're going to do is um, use our apple with different materials and see what happens. So what we know right now, cafeteria workers cook food in the hospitals, they cook with fruits like apples. The inside of an apple can be either white or a light yellow. So for this apple, it's a light yellow color. Um, when, it's, when the apple is cut, it starts a chemical reaction happening and the inside of the apple will eventually turn brown. So the question that we're gonna ask, what works to stop an apple from turning brown? And so we have four things that we're going to do and see if we can decide what's going to keep it from turning brown. So the four options are water, salt, lemon juice, or nothing. What do we think is going to keep the apple from not turning brown? So I'm going to make a guess and then we're going to let you decide what you think your hypothesis or guess is going to be okay. So I'm just gonna make a totally random guess. Let's say salt. So I'm circling salt on my paper here. You should have this paper in your AMI packet if you wanna follow along with me, okay? So now we're gonna go step by step. You also should have your apple um, picture here because this is where we're gonna use the color and um, identify our changes that we see in our apples, okay? So we're gonna put one piece of apple into each bowl. So I have my bowls here. I'm gonna tilt this down so you can see, okay? All right, so there we go. Move some of my papers. All right, hopefully y'all can kind of see this. So we're gonna have, this one's gonna have water in it, salt, lemon juice, and nothing. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take some apple slices and go ahead and put one in each container. The rest of these apples we're gonna to feed to our class bunny. Okay, I'm grabbing this stuff that we need. So here's salt. lemon juice, we have nothing, and then water I'll get from the sink. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, I'm gonna look at the directions that we have here. So put one apple in each bowl, we did that. Put water into one bowl covering the apple. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this one up with water. Okay, our apple's trying to float. So we'll, we'll stick it down just like that. Put salt into another bowl. All right, so we got this one. I'm gonna put some salt on the apple. I'm gonna cover both sides just to make sure we get it. Okay. Lemon juice into our next one. Okay. 
And then nothing in the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up after myself, put these away. All right, so the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up where you can see me. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna wait five minutes. So I'm going to pause this um, video, pause the recording and wait five minutes and then I'll return it back on and we will see what has happened. I'll see y'all here just a little bit. Hey, it has been five minutes, so I am back and we are gonna check out what we have here. I have our paper. And so I'm going to have my markers over here. So after five minutes of soaking this column, I'm going to go ahead and color in what I think that the apples look like. So I'm going to put you down so you can see. So the first apple I'm going to look at is the nothing apple. So it looks like right in the middle, it has started to brown a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to color that. So you could see what I did. So the yellow outside with a little brown in the middle. Okay, for the one in the lemon juice, let me grab a toothpick. Don't wanna get our hands all messy. Okay, the one in the lemon juice, it is still yellow, not much brown going on there. So we'll color that one yellow. Okay, this is the one with the salt. It looks like it has an itty bitty bit of brown right in the middle. So, just a line though, not as much as the nothing one. And then our one in the water. It has some signs of browning too, right there in the middle part. So I noticed that I accidentally put, this was supposed to be the five minute one and this was supposed to be 15 and I colored it on the wrong side. So I put my little arrows to switch it. But this is what we have so far. So, so far it looks like the lemon juice is winning as being the one not turning things brown. Okay, so now the next part of this is we're gonna wait 15 more minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video again and put a timer on my phone. And in 15 minutes, it won't actually be that long on the video. You all know it'll just go right to the next one. But um, in 15 minutes, we'll come back, take a look again, see what's happening, and see if our hypothesis was correct. I'll see y'all real soon. Hey, we are back. It has been 15 minutes. So we are going to check out our apples and see what we've got going on. So we're going to start with the one that is in nothing. It has continued. I don't know if y'all can see this. The light's kind of right here it has continued to get more brown especially right on the edge so we're going to color that in i'm going to kind of color along the edge remember i accidentally flip-flopped my apple pictures so you know what am i going to work it happens everybody makes mistakes all right next one is the lemon juice Okay, the lemon juice has made our apple 
stay nice and yellow. There has been no browning. Okay, for the one in the salt, it does have a little browning. It might be kind of hard to see. Um, right in the middle, it has browned a little bit. So we will mark that same thing. And then the one sitting in the water. Oh yeah, it definitely has started to brown. Right along the front edge, right down the middle, you can see where it's browning. Okay, so out of everything that we have done, this is kind of what it looks like, all right? The brown versus the yellow. So I have our review that we're going to do. So did all the apples look the same after the experiment? Yes or no? I'm going to circle no, because we saw a chemical change. What worked best to stop the apple from turning brown? Well, if we go back and we look at our chart, the one that had no brown on it was the lemon juice. The next question is, was your guess correct? My guess was not. I did a totally random guess and I said the salt, but the salt um, did turn it brown. So if you guessed lemon juice, you were correct. You had a good hypothesis. So was my guess correct? I'm going to say no, but congrats if yours was. Okay, so that is the end of our science experiment. We have learned that lemon juice actually stopped the chemical reaction. It made the enzymes not turn brown. The one that had nothing in it, salt and water, still caused it all to turn brown. So I hope y'all enjoyed our science experiment and I can't wait to see what else we have going on this week. Talk to y'all later.